I love Jersey. I love Jersey. I love Jersey myself. We were both born in Jersey, both grown up in Jersey. But I'm actually going to London in a few weeks because, not because I hate Jersey, Jersey is the best place in the world, but to yeah. adventure a new career. And, um, you know, I think Jersey needs to do more stuff like this. Yeah. Definitely. I like Jersey, nice beaches, nice weather, nice people. Uh, what would be your message to people in Jersey? Um, we love you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Message to the people of Jersey. We're from Southampton. What could we possibly offer the people of Jersey? Well, just yeah. keep it clean. You know, because yeah. this is the cleanest don't, place don't I've change. ever been. Don't change. Don't don't follow the herd. <laughs> just be Jersey. Yeah. Support, the, support the festival. Turn it into something big and global and get people comfortable all over. Yeah, like a new Glastonbury. Yeah. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. This Thank is great. You are so rock and roll. It's probably cost about 130, 140,000 to put together, but I think we've broke even this year, which is great. Excellent. We had no intention of having the dance arena. It was only until we went to Glastonbury in June. It was just excellent, excellent vibes going on around the dance arena. We had Paul Daly from Left Field, Top Dollar, John Carter, and they're all festival DJs. And the Scratch Pervert, former world champions for, for, for mixing technique. And as soon as people know the Scratch Pervert were on, it was half oh, brilliant. You know, it was a big, big sell point. We've never heard of the Jersey Festival before. We obviously we played at Glastonbury and Greenfields in the last couple of years. It's nice to come to a completely different environment. And even though it's on a smaller scale, it's, it's in many ways exactly the same atmosphere. It's nice to be invited to the first ever Jersey Festival as well. Is it the first ever one? Yeah. <laughs> Planted 2005, we will implement in the next two weeks. We're going to tourism, they're going to take a lot of weight off us, they're going to help promote it off Ireland. Jersey has Jemma. lovely beaches! Don't it does, it has it has has I'm drunk, I'm very drunk. The type of festival that we want to become is, is 10,000 per day. We want to do next year, there's another one day. We feel we'll probably get to seven and a half thousand. The year after, we want to make it a two-day event, but we can only make it a two-day event once we implement camping. That's when we become, you know, a well-noted festival. Uh, we've still got a lot of hard work to do.
see me, I'm just walking these streets, it's the same streets I walk, and there's just one thing, one thing that I need, there's just one thing that I need, that's why I'm looking for you, look for you. There was a lot of stress trying to book the acts, there was a lot of stress trying to, to, to book the infrastructure. A lot of negotiations back and forth, people trying to raise the stakes, you know, hit us for, for high fees. It was worrying, you know, I've, I've got a lot more grey hairs in my head than what I did do uh, January earlier. Razor Light said it was the best festival they've done all year. Um, we've had the agents on the phone immediately after the festival. It's just opened up such doors for us, um, saying we can put practically anyone we want now. Razor light, delays, yeah. fantastic. Yeah, Jersey should have more. It's Absolutely. brilliant. Absolutely. My boyfriend put me on his shoulders and I could see everything. Yeah, I think it went fairly well. I enjoyed it. It was a good crowd up there tonight, I have to say. It was good fun. No drugs, no nothing. Everyone's behaved. There's no trouble, nothing. I think it's brilliant. There, there seems to be like a bit of a, a hint of a summer of love kind of atmosphere. It was, it, was, it was really, really pleasing for us. I don't think anybody let us down from local all the way to UK artists. I thought everybody performed fantastically. I think it was absolutely brilliant. And I am too drunk to go on camera, so you're just cutting this right now. Damn good. Yo, Jay, oh, the Warrens have done an absolute fantastic job. This year they've cracked it, and next year's going to be bigger and better. Seriously. They don't really like the English, I don't no. think. No. no pavements. And is it, seriously, is it legal to like walk down the road at your supper? I don't know what I expected, but it was mind blowing. Well done next year. <laughs>